Hey everyone, just wanted to show you a few uh, pieces of terrain I made here. Uh, it's three different hills that I've made. This one back here is the first piece of terrain I ever made. It's just a stepped hill. It's just made out of uh, another poly pink polystyrene. Went around and you know kind of busted up the edges with the, with the knife to make it look like rock. Then uh, base coated the whole thing dark gray. Then took like a medium gray and kind of overbrushed things. And then uh, you know, took uh, some white and dry brushed the rest of it to kind of bring out the highlights. I glued some uh, smaller rocks in here. It kind of looked like rubble where the hill you know kind of crumbled. And then uh, you know up around the edges here, I uh, glued some sand down. Then painted that brown and. Highlighted it with a, a lighter brown. Uh, the flock is actually uh, sawdust that I've dyed uh, with just some uh, acrylic paint, uh, a few different colors, kind of a, a dark green, uh, yellow, and an orange, and then kind of mixed it all together. And then over in the corners for like a mossy look, I did just uh, the real fine uh, sawdust, I uh, dyed it an even darker green and kind of put piles of that around. So this is my first piece of terrain. I play fantasy and I was pretty pleased with it, but it's kind of hard to move units around on it when they're in big blocks. Um, so I decided I wanted a more sloping, sloping hill. Let me put a unit up there for scale. There we go, I got my night goblins up there. You see it's kind of uh, awkward. They don't have a lot of, a lot of space to move around up there. So it's good for like war machines and stuff, but you know, you get a block of troops up there and they always end up kind of hanging off the edge or, you know, sitting sideways because they're like uh, part way up and not, not all the way up though. So uh, then I decided to build this hill here. Same sort of idea, but it's got a, you know, slope all the way around and then, uh, you know, a cliff face, you know, impassable terrain in the front there. Um, so I did the same thing for the rock on this one, but this one, uh, the foam, I, I based on MDF. So I got this, uh, you know, nice front hair, and I can have these smooth edges here without worrying about this getting busted up. You know, where the foam comes to the MDF, it's a lot stronger. Um, and then, uh, you know, where the two meet, I took some spackling putty and just kind of filled that in and sanded it down so it's nice and smooth. Um, I base coated uh, the flat areas of the foam uh, brown to give it kind of a dirt look, but it didn't really turn out very well because it's, as you can see here, it's it's totally smooth, so it, it doesn't look much like dirt. There wasn't anything I could uh, dry brush to uh, to give it any depth. And then the flock, I uh, I did one solid color, and I, I didn't really like how that turned out either. Um, and then I guess the last thing I didn't really like about this was the uh, the corners of the MDF. I cut the whole thing square, so it just seems kind of like a you know, like a pyramid or a square or something. Not very natural looking at all. I did put some uh, bigger pieces of foam down here that looked like bigger chunks of rock that broke off. I thought that turned out pretty well. Some rubble here too is just uh, you know some rocks that I glued down. So then. On my third attempt at a hill here, I think this is my best work so far. Um, I kind of took what I learned from this one, you know, based it on MDF as well, um, and it gave it a nice, you know, smooth sloping uh, edge that, uh, you know, troops can move up, but then we've still got this uh, impassable terrain here. So I think this one will be a lot better to play with. Here's uh, the night goblins again for scale. They still fill up a lot of it, but now they can move around a lot more freely on it. You know, I can put them on the side of the slope, no problem. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I put the big, uh, couple big rocks in again. Over there on the corner too. Uh, this time, I put sand down. And then uh, base coated that brown and then highlighted that. So it gives the ground some more texture, you can see here. And I think that turned out a lot better. Also, some of the bigger rocks in the sand, I painted gray. So it looks like the the granite, or whatever the cliffs are made out of, 
you know, it's kind of sprinkled throughout the grass too. And then I also embedded this, this larger piece of rock in the grass too. Looks like it's kind of poking out from the hillside. I think I did a lot better job with the flock on this one. You know, I used uh, multiple colors. You can see this area is kind of light green here. Then there's a dark green with kind of the yellow and orange mixed in. And here's a real, real deep green down here. I think it gives it a lot more natural look. And then I think the one of the coolest parts about this is, uh, you know, this dirt patch up here with these like uh, tracks leading up to it. I kind of envision like someone dragging a cannon up there or something and kind of killed the grass. So I think that looks pretty good. So these are the, the three hills I made for fantasy. Definitely like the last one. The first one turned out okay. The middle one I don't I don't really like that much. Hope you guys enjoy.